Item number SCP-2192 Optic Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-2192 is to be kept in a concrete chamber lined with lead bricks at least 10 centimeters in width and coated inside and out with heat-resistant ceramic material. These bricks must be checked weekly for warping and or melting and replaced accordingly. Any furniture provided for SCP-2192's use must be constructed of heat and flame-resistant materials. The chamber must be fitted with a high-pressure cold water sprinkler system, a gauge for monitoring temperature, and a gauge for monitoring ambient level of radiation. SCP-2192 may be provided toys appropriate for the 5 to 7 year age range if requested, as well as crayons, update, colored pencils and paper, update, a slate and colored chalk. See Addenda 2192-1 and 2192-1A for entertainment purposes. SCP-2192 is not to be removed from its chamber at any time, and any personnel entering its container must wear a radiation suit at all times. SCP-2192's chamber must be monitored at all times for changes in temperature and radiation levels. The sprinkler system must be immediately activated if the ambient temperature inside the chamber rises by more than 10 degrees Celsius. Any materials removed from SCP-2192's chamber must be decontaminated and disposed of. All personnel coming off of ship rotation overseeing SCP-2192 must take the standard physical and psychological evaluation. Potassium iodide tablets will be made available to any staff concerned about exposure to SCP-2192. Description SCP-2192 is a human child between the ages of 5 and 7, measuring 114 centimeters in height and weighing approximately 20 kilograms. Due to the extensive tissue damage covering the entirety of SCP-2192's surface area, its sex is not physically apparent. Blood and DNA tests have also proven inconclusive as well as dangerous due to the object's anomalous qualities. SCP-2192 identifies itself as female in response to the word Milar as well as other Russian terms of endearment. SCP-2192 speaks and reads Russian at a level typical of the average native speaker in the 5-7 to seven year age range. The temperament of SCP-2192 is typical of a normal child between the ages of 5 and 7, and psychological development appears normal given the circumstances of SCP-2192's containment. SCP-2192 is typically well-behaved, friendly, and empathetic towards others, and appears to enjoy socializing with anyone entering its chamber commonly referring to them as friends. 100% of SCP-2192 surface area is covered in what appear to be severe radiation burns, causing the complete destruction of 80% of more of the epidermis. Severe damages to the underlying dermis and 5-10% exposure and damage to the hypodermis. Due to resulting nerve damage, these burns do not typically cause SCP-2192 serious pain, although SCP-2192 does commonly express feelings of discomfort. If SCP-2192 does complain of discomfort or pain, common treatments for radiation burns as well as a mild sedative may be administered. The burns have not shown any sign of healing since SCP-2192's containment, and first aid seems to have no appreciable effects. Although SCP-2192 seems to enjoy the attention, SCP-2192 has not changed in height or weight since its containment and still retains the temperament of a child. At this time, it is assumed that SCP-2192 Two's anomalous qualities may also have stunted its growth. At this time, it is assumed that SCP-2192's anomalous qualities may also have stunted its growth. See Addendum 
2192-2. SCP-2192 is highly radioactive, producing a high enough level of gamma radiation to cause acute illness within 60 minutes of exposure if proper safety measures are not maintained. The normal internal body temperature of SCP-2192 while resting or in a relaxed state is approximately 120 degrees Celsius, but in states of agitation, the object's outer temperature has been recorded as levels exceeding 400 degrees Celsius. The level of radioactive energy emitted by SCP-2192 increases proportionately during moments of physical or emotional distress. This appears to be an automatic response similar to bodily changes associated with the fight-or-flight response. SCP-2192 was first discovered in March of 1990 beep by Foundation researchers investigating reports of anomalous phenomena in the area surrounding beep. At that time, SCP-2192 was living alone in the ruins of an abandoned apartment complex in beep. Upon first approach, SCP-2192 initially reacted with fear, but very quickly grew accustomed to the researchers and eventually approached and offered them what SCP-2192 referred to as a pretty rock it had found in the ruins, seemingly as a symbol of friendship. In the fields attempting to establish the origin of SCP-2192 have proven unsuccessful, as SCP-2192 is either unwilling or unable to recount details of its life previous to its discovery in Beep. Further psychological evaluation of SCP-2192 seems to suggest that it is unaware of its harmful effects towards others and in fact does not understand what radiation is. Doctors feel that SCP-2192 should not be made aware of the full implications of its anomalous qualities, as SCP-2192's empathetic temperament suggests that knowing the truth would cause its severe psychological trauma and make containment far more difficult. If SCP-2192 asks any questions related to its containment, it is advised that SCP-2192 be led to believe it is being held for medical treatment. Addendum 2192-1 Crayons are not to be given to SCP-2192. SCP-2192's high body temperature immediately melts crayons upon contact, causing SCP-2192 considerable emotional distress. Addendum 2192-1A Paper is not to be given to SCP-2192 as it represents an unacceptable fire hazard. Addendum 2192-2 On beep, the cold water sprinkler system in SCP-2192's chamber was activated after the temperature inside rose suddenly by more than 20 degrees Celsius. Upon entering the chamber, personnel discovered SCP-2192 on the floor of the chamber in obvious distress. SCP-2192 began crying, complaining of severe pain in its legs. A physical examination revealed that several fissures had opened in SCP-2192's flesh, bisecting the back of both thighs and front of the shins, exposing bone. It was discovered then that SCP-2192 had grown three centimeters in height, and the loss of elasticity in its flesh caused by its severe burns, led to cracks forming in the tissue. A heavy sedative was administered and appears effective as a short-term solution.